Hello, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about a faster way to create missions in DroneLink that many people are not aware of. Most people start with a blank plan or even start with one of the elements such as waypoints, a map or an orbit. But in life, you rarely start from a blank page. Whether you're writing code, cooking a meal or creating a contract, most of us take existing ingredients and use them to create our own version. And DroneLink is no different. They have a library of some common missions already set up to do what you need to do. And all you need to do is change them to suit your needs. So how do you do that? Let's take an example of a construction site capture. Frequently, these have common elements such as a map, some 360 photos, an image series and a video. Instead of creating all of these from scratch, what we're going to do is click on Create and then click on Edit Example. When you do that, you'll be presented with a number of common tasks. The one we want is called Multiple Component Mission at Construction Site, although the name is only partially shown. Click on that and you'll be taken into a mission that contains camera settings, a couple of panos, an image series created using a facade component, a map and a video. All you now need to do is make some changes to this. As soon as you do that, you'll be given the option to save it into your own repository. The first change I usually make is to reposition everything because this won't be located where you need it. So move the map to the location where you want the mission to be. Right click and say move reference. Before it lets you make any changes, you'll be asked which repository you want to save the mission to. Once you select that, you can then proceed to move all components. I'm going to move this to an area where they are demolishing an old factory and replacing it with a warehouse. Now we need to edit each of the elements. The easiest way to do this is to click on the eye icon for each element so that only that one is shown. Make any changes and then move on to the next element, again selecting the eye to focus on that. Here I'm going to reposition the 360 photos, adjust the image series, move the map component over the area needed and change the video flight path. All of this took only a few minutes and now we have something ready to run a full capture. There are plenty of other options to choose from, from a simple setup of multiple panos to some creative video paths. They are all there for you to play with and hopefully save some time in the process or get some ideas that you didn't think of before. Anyway, that's it for another video. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear from you. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.